Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. Before we go into the individual star signs, we will go into the overall energy. Uh, but before we do that, I should probably tell you what week we're actually uh, looking at. We're looking at the week of November the 26th to December the 2nd, 2018. So let's have a look what the overall energy um, is telling us. <clears throat> the overall energy for our, for our week, um, what I've been given here is the Paraquine Falcon and the Frog. So in the coming week, November 26th to December the 2nd, um, we will see opportunities that come to us. So there will be new opportunities very likely uh, be coming our way. Um, and what the guides are saying, when they come to you, don't panic, because we also have the frog, which is an amphibian, which means he can live on land and on water. Um, so what that really means for all of us is, should new opportunities come your way, unless you're absolutely going like, nah, I don't want to do it, right? but if you feel this could be something uh, like a new beginning for me, then what the guides are saying is, absolutely, because you will just be fine. But the main point for uh, this week, for all of us, is to not chase anything because new opportunities will come to us, right? So, we just moved into the star sign of uh, Sagittarius. Um, and so we're starting with that star sign. Um, let's see what the coming week has got for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, whatever you're going through, what you need is patience. Um, don't rush anything. Um, don't try to force anything. Um, don't try to overthink um, because you need a bit of patience here um, to see where things are going. Um, your guides are actually trying to reach you already in your dreams. You have the dream trap here. And um, what that denotes is that See how this works is we, we, we need to dream or we all go bonkers. Um, and so what the guides are saying is they're trying to reach you already in your dreams. It would be very good, therefore, for Sagittarius this week to have a um, dream journal and see what you can remember, recall from dreams, write it out because oftentimes there are patterns and they will become more clear uh, when you write things down and then you, you know, um, compare what you, what you wrote. Okay, there was Sagittarius going into uh, Capricorn. See what we got for Capricorn. Okay. Capricorn's got the D and the monkey. So what the universe is saying to you is this week, be calm. Things from your past are in your system, so to speak. Um, old things that no longer serve you want out and um, you don't really um, have to solve anything if that makes sense. What you need to realize is that there's memories from the past uh, flooding back and they can be upsetting um, and what the guides are saying is be calm, they will leave you um, and so the, the idea here is obviously um, because they leave you anyway um, you don't have to relive it, right, if that makes sense. Um, but what they're saying to you is there's a reason why these memories flood back. Um, just let it go and uh, allow yourself to be calm when you're being hit by a memory that you uh, see as painful, right? That was the Capricorns going into Aquarius. Right. Aquarius have the twin gods, the twin gods and the arrow. Um, which is actually easy peasy because you are fully protected and the arrow says keep on going. So whatever happens right now, your guides are around you big time and they're saying to you, don't worry about anything, just keep going, really important. And that's all you need to do is to keep going, you know, one step at a time. Okay, there was Aquarius going into Pisces, my favorite star sign because I am a Pisces. And we have the coyote and the caribou. Interesting. Great week, therefore, for us Pisces, because the coyote 
knows there's always enough food to go around. He's a scavenger by default. And the caribou is an animal um, that has a split hoof. So when the terrain gets difficult, the caribou won't sink in. What that means for us then is that we will be fine. There's nothing to worry about this week. Um, uh, really important for us to realize, therefore, we can be calm about stuff because we will not fail. Um, we will be looked after by the, by the universe, so to speak. And so this is a week for all us Pisces to just be calm, gather our strengths, and also remember that we are very, very loved. Okay? I like that. That was Pisces going into Aries. Interesting, very interesting. I know I say it all the time, interesting, but I find it interesting. <laughs> so for Aries, <coughs> you have the sacred tree and the woodpecker. The sacred tree is you. You are the old soul that has been here many, many times, lifetimes, um, you know, again and again you come back. And the woodpecker is an animal that can work on any tree, no matter how crooked the tree appears. So what they're saying to you is, you are good the way you are and no matter what comes your way you will be more than capable of working through it okay short and sweet for Aries going into Taurus let's see what we got Taurus interesting <laughs> we have two wolves we have the timber wolf and the gray wolf and that means that as Taurus this is a week for you to remember that when you are in your strengths, you tend to be in charge. And that's what the guides want you to be. Be in charge. But remember also, because that's another thing that the wolf denotes, being a canine, uh, he's a very loving creature, and he's also a pack animal. So you being in charge does not mean you can, you know, run through uh, and, and just, you know, um, be forceful. What they're saying is, no, you can be in charge of your own destiny, in charge of your own, you know, whatever you want to call it, in charge of your own um, life, for want of a better word. Um, and as long as you le are leading your life, you will be fine. But you don't have to do it on your own, right? Okie dokie, short and sweet for Tauruses. <coughs> Going into Gemini. Oh, Gemini have the Maze Mother and the TP. The Maze Mother is a depiction of Mother Earth um, looking after a field. And the idea is that this field is ever reviving and ever renewing um, because she is just watching over it. So you are being watched over, you will be fine. And you have the TP, which means it is important that in your home you have to be or ought to be very, very happy and content. So this week, <coughs> gently, hence the, 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 the maze mother, gently look at your life at home and make sure that the people there um, are kind. And if they are not kind, then tell them to be kind. But this is the week to realize that the, the, the door is not one of them days. <laughs> Busy day. Um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, okay, we were with um, Gemini. So it's important to look at your, at your home and um, make sure that you're happy in it. Whatever issues are there, this is the week for you to gently make people aware of them, right? That was Gemini going into Cancer. My beautiful, my beautiful fiance is a Cancer. So always interesting to see what's going on, uh, what's coming up for her. So we're going into Cancerians. You have the Red Wolf and the Jaguar. We had the wolf already with Taurus, so wolves are telling you you ought to be in charge, can be in charge of your own destiny. The red wolf, however, is a wolf that lives in the desert. He was also once called the Ethiopian wolf, um, but you know, names aside. So in the desert, the the rules of survival are different. There is less. Uh, food, there's more scarcity. So what they're saying to you is because you have the red wolf and the jaguar, right? You're not yet fully um, renewed from whatever happened to you in the past, right? But you're getting there. So allow yourself to be vulnerable. And most importantly, because you have the jaguar, um, be yourself, right? 
you in other words you're really going from strength to strength at the moment um and enjoy that and at the same time allow yourself to feel at times i'm vulnerable i have no idea how to do this or how to do this and it's perfectly fine all they're saying to you is you are a wolf so you are in charge um, and the vulnerability will get better as you progress in life but be yourself okie dokie short and sweet for cancerians going into leo okay how oh, well another jaguar we have the crow and the jaguar for uh, leo so again be yourself is important and the reason why is because you have the crow the crow is known as the as the animal of transformation so leos are going through life changing uh, changes things that are not as easy um, to comprehend even and certainly not as quick to work through because they're life changing so as you're going through difficulties that you where they make you think what the is going on here <laughs> these kind of things um, just remember you will get through it and you will come out the other end stronger okay that's for Leo and now we have Virgo Virgos have the Canada goose and the turtle what they're saying to you is again we had that earlier uh, I think you 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 need to have patience be patient about everything and because you have the turtle an animal that can live a long long time and by default goes about life very slowly and um, what they're saying to you is you need to be patient with whatever it is you're trying to sort out and don't get into panic attacks if you suffer from anxiety your thoughts can make it worse so what they're saying is be patient solutions will present themselves okay in time and all they're saying to you is you are an old soul you have been through a lot of stuff and you will be able to keep going but keep going gently and slowly and don't let anyone bother you okay short and sweet for for uh, um, Virgo we're going into Libra uh, our second last um, star sign of the day and Libra have got the spirit of healing and the dancer of life that's perfect because the spirit of healing means that the healing you need is provided um, this week very strongly November 26 to December the 2nd the spirit of healing is all around you and the dancer of life means Dancing means a little bit, means pussy for things, like I'm not so sure where this is going. What they're saying is, allow yourself to heal this week. This might be a very emotional week, therefore, uh, for, for, for Libras. Um, allow yourself to heal, and then, it's not a, necessarily a new life, but life will be much better when you just allow yourself to, to, to be healed. And also, when the guides are around you to help you with healing, um, what may be surprising to you is how much they love you without expecting you to do anything uh, if that makes sense so so allow yourself to really soak up the knowledge and the wisdom that comes with knowing that you're loved and you're going to be fine that was libra going to the last star sign uh, for the day which is scorpio wow we have tons of wolves today uh, because uh, um, scorpio have the drum and the wolf the drum means cleansing right so what they're saying to you is, you don't, have to have, you don't necessarily have to have a drum for this, but what they're saying is, make sure your space, your personal space, is cleansed. Right? So if you have a pendulum or you have incense, whatever you use for cleansing, make sure your home and yourself are, are, are cleansed. And then once you have a new energy, uh, when you have made space, so to speak, um, be in charge from, from, from then on um, about what you really want to do. Okie dokie, and that's all we have time for. Um, I will be back in the new year uh, because it's, I'm going to have a very busy, I have a very busy December and I know I won't have time to do another uh, video. So we will be back in the new year. So Merry Christmas and a happy uh, 2019. And I see you very early in 2019. All the best. Bye bye.